Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Arsha and today we're talking about something that has affected, I'm sure, everybody on the line, okay? And it is confidence. I am going to give you 10 ways to get your confidence back. In order to figure out how to get your confidence, you gotta know where did I lose it? We must figure out the source of your lack of confidence. Now, let me tell you, in my life, I've gone through a lot of stuff. It can range from work. It can, it can range from relationships. It can range from just not even, just like, just not feeling myself, you know, that day. Um, and I'm not going to say that. 365 days of the year that I ha I have top-notch confidence because no, we all have days where it's just like, mm, I don't really like that today or I don't feel like that today. But knowing the source of where you lost your confidence or knowing the source of the lack of confidence can get you back on track. Take some time, sit down, be one with yourself to figure out where in my life am I lacking confidence. Am I lacking confidence in my skills and abilities? Am I lacking confidence in the way that I look? Am I lacking confidence in the way that I show up? Am I lacking confidence um, in the way that I feel within the inside? Confidence is just not how you look on the outside. To be honest, I feel like confidence is really 80% within and 20% on the outside. Because you can really be put together on the outside and feel like crap in the inside. You looking good on the outside makes no difference if your insides do not match. Okay? So, first and foremost, we have to find the source of your lack of confidence. Number two, setting realistic goals will immediately boost your confidence. I cannot tell you how many times I create goals, whether they're daily goals, monthly goals, weekly goals, any kind of goals. I cannot tell you how many times I've created goals and I did not meet those goals. And it immediately decreased my confidence. Immediately. Setting realistic goals and you knocking those different goals, you, you scratching those goals off because you're getting them done is an immediate when i say immediate it is an immediate confidence booster it is just something about setting the tone or creating a plan and getting it done that makes your confidence skyrocket if you need an immediate confidence booster baby create your three three realistic tasks Create you three realistic tasks. And I guarantee, once you scratch that off, maybe you're going to feel good. You go to the next. Do you, you get that done. Scratch that off. You're going to feel amazing. Then you go to the next. Then you're on number three. And you're like, dang, I done got one scratched off. I done got two scratched off. Baby, I'm on to number three. When you get number three scratched off, baby, you are on cloud nine. Okay? Set realistic goals and watch your confidence skyrocket i promise you all right number three positive self-talk one of the most important things in building your confidence because when you are constantly telling yourself negative things telling yourself things that you cannot do telling yourself you don't look good or telling you know just negative self-talk that will eat away at your confidence it, it just takes away from your confidence. So you have to learn how to change the way that you think. You have to learn how to take that negative self-talk and switch it to where it's positive. So if you feel or you hear yourself saying, oh, I don't look right today. Baby, change that. Girl, you look you look cute today. You know, put your shoulders back, baby. Like slumped over and you don't. No, baby, shoulders back, chin up. You are that girl. Positive self-talk. Um, we are going to replace negative words, negative thoughts with positive affirmations, okay? Number four is embracing your failures. Listen, I know nobody wants to fail at anything, right? But in order to 
to reach success, you're going to have to embrace those failures. In order to see success, you're going to have to see failures. So if you just get your mind on accepting those failures, baby, it will keep you from being down on yourself. It will keep you from, from shattering your confidence. Baby, embrace those failures. Like Denzel Washington says, we're going to fail forward, okay? We're going to fail forward. And if I fall backwards, baby, I'm looking up. And Les Brown said, if I can look up, baby, I can get up, okay? Period. Number five is taking care of your physical and your mental health. I can't stress this enough. Physical and mental plays an important role in your confidence. It plays an important role in your mood. And when it comes to mental, do not be afraid to reach out to a therapist. I am all about therapy. I love therapy. I've been in therapy for years and it is something about talking to a therapist to where I can vomit all of my my brain fog. I can brain dump and don't feel no way about it and she's not judging me and she can help me process that. Baby, mental is cleared every thursday do you hear me every thursday i get my mental cleared and i am jumping back on my physical now so if you guys want to join me on that come on another portion of taking care of yourself physically and mentally is also grooming okay when you feel good or when you look good you feel good you know when you put on clothes when you do your makeup and you know, you walk outside, it's just a different, it's just a different, uh, about you. You know what I'm saying? So why wouldn't you want to feel like that more often? Take time, do your hair. You don't have to put on a full face of makeup. Put you some lashes on, put you some lip gloss on. Put time into making yourself look good. Because when you look good, you feel good. And grooming has a lot to do with your confidence. Number six, practicing gratitude. Yo, this is one of the most powerful mindset changes is to practice gratitude. You, you don't realize how much you take for granted. When I can sit here and just say 10 things that I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for waking up this morning. I am grateful for having a sight to see. I am grateful for waking up in my right mind. My dad has dementia and I am grateful for waking up in my right mind. I'm grateful for my children being happy, being healthy. I'm grateful for the family that I have supportive. I am grateful for having a job. I am, I am grateful that I get to go to work. Not that I have to go to work. I get to go to work. I am grateful for having this platform. I'm grateful for God giving me the gift to be comfortable enough to, to share it with you all. I'm grateful for, for the love and, and the support. I'm grateful for the sun. I'm grateful for the moon. I'm grateful for, um, having a meal today. You know, like you have to learn how to be grateful. It puts you in a very grateful state of mind and it makes you excited it it allows you to see things from different perspectives okay i'm grateful that i'm able to put one foot in front of the other and walk to the restroom or walk to my kitchen or walk to my car you know what i'm saying all right so number seven is very 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 important when building your confidence it is surrounding yourself with positive people their encouragement and their positivity boost your confidence immediately. When you are when you are able to be around people who are not jealous, when you are able to be around people who speak life into you, when you are able to be around people who genuinely want to see you happy, does something to one your mental health. It does something to your energy. It can lift you up in places that you are torn. It can automatically rebuild your confidence in yourself. So make sure you surround yourself with people who are supportive, 
people who are positive and people who genuinely want to see you happy. That's the key. Number eight, we touched on a little earlier um, when we were talking about the mental um, aspects of confidence. It is basically seeking help when you find that your confidence is low and it's impacting your daily life. If it's impacting the way you make decisions, if it's impacting your everyday life activities, if it's impacting the way you view things, seek help. Like I said, I love therapy. I've been in therapy for a couple of years and I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I did not have my therapist to help me sort things out. Seeking help is definitely a way to help build your confidence. Number nine is step out of your comfort zone, sis. Yeah, step out of your comfort zone. That is, that will boost your confidence immediately because it shows you that you are able to do things that you didn't think that you could do. I don't care if it's um, a big task or a small task, set challenges for yourself. Um, step out of your comfort zone and do things that you wouldn't typically do. Find ways to challenge yourself. When you take on those challenges and you knock it out the park, your brain automatically feels good. Like, yeah, I did that. So pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone will help your confidence times 10. Sis, ain't no growth in being comfortable. Ain't no growth in there. I'm telling you. Step out of your comfort zone, sis. Ain't no growth in there. The last tip on increasing your confidence is reflecting on past success. I am a journaler. I love journaling. I can take a journal that I had three years ago to see where I was then and compare it to where I am now. And when I tell you, it makes me feel amazing. Because it's just like, damn, I didn't know I was going through that. Or dang, like, I was going through that. Look how far I've come. When you are able to reflect on your past to see how far you've come, baby, the sky's the limit. And then things that you are, are challenged with today don't seem impossible because you can reflect on your past success and say, well, dang, I did that. Why can't I do this? When you are able to reflect on your past success, it helps you recognize your capabilities. It helps you understand your strengths. So don't be afraid to go back. Go back. Look how far you come, boo. It's growth in there. There you have it. 10 effective ways of building your confidence. I hope that this helps you in the way that it helps me. Remember, this is a journey, sis. It's not going to happen overnight. Take it one day at a time. Okay, but understand you are that girl and I want you to say it with me. I am that girl. If you don't believe it today, keep saying it, baby. You will. Love you. Deuces.